This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone the usage of drugs or tobacco. Yo, what is good? My name is Keith Fish, and in this video, I'm gonna cover all sorts of different tobacco products that you can smoke. We're gonna cover everything, ranging from the tobacco leaf itself to the rolled up forms. Let's get into it. The first form of tobacco that we'll review is one of my personal favorites, Fronto Leaf. A Fronto Leaf is a large unprocessed tobacco leaf, kind of like a backwood, but it's not flavored and it's whole. It's one of the most natural forms of tobacco that's available today because it's an unprocessed leaf. It's a long-standing tradition in the Caribbean islands and is one of the most popular tobacco products in Jamaica. Fronto Leaf is used as a wrap to roll up herbs like cannabis or more tobacco. Grab a leaf emerges when you break down Fronto leaves into strips or little bits and then add them to other smoking material. Fronto leaf that's been shredded or ripped up for smoking smoking purposes is typically known as grab a leaf. Grab a can be used as pipe tobacco in which it would be burned in a traditional smoking pipe with a bowl, but it's also common to roll up the shredded graba in a frontal leaf and then smoke it that way. A spliff is the term used to describe when you roll up graba or tobacco with cannabis, and there's a few different ways to do it. Some people mix graba or ground up tobacco with the weed and roll it up like that. The way I like to do it is to take a thin strip of fronto and stick it in my joint before I roll it up. Backwoods is similar to a frontal leaf, but it's still different. Backwoods are an actual brand. Most people use backwoods specifically to roll with cannabis in which they gut the tobacco out of the wood and replace it with the herb of choice. Using backwoods to roll up weed is almost like a culture icon at this point. It is a processed tobacco leaf rolled around more shredded tobacco similar to a Dutch master. Backwoods you take a gamble because it could be cracked or dry or have little bullet holes or whatever in them. They also have chemicals in them but not as much as cigarillos do. Cigarillos are short narrow cigars. They're typically wrapped in brown tobacco based paper. Cigarillos are smaller than regular cigars but larger than cigarettes. They're usually made without filters and are are meant to be smoked like a cigar and not inhaled. Sometimes abbreviated as rellos, they are commonly used as wraps for blunts. A blunt is a rello that's had its tobacco filling gutted and replaced with cannabis. They're usually easier to roll up compared to fronts or backwoods. Rellos are almost exclusively made by machine and are easily mass produced. Cigars are much thicker and are meant to be smoked for prolonged periods of time. The cheapest cigar can run you about a dollar, but premium ones can go up to $150, and the exotic or rare ones can be exponentially more than that. Some cigars are mass produced by machine like cigarillos. Handmade cigars require much more time, patience, and skill to produce precisely because they are made entirely by hand. Cigars are essentially more premium and bigger forms of cigarillos. Neither are meant to be inhaled and the nicotine is typically absorbed through the cheeks. On the contrast, cigarettes are meant to be inhaled through the lungs. But before we go any further, I'm gonna let my homie, the infamous sig connoisseur himself, Jacob Jones, explain this one. Thank you very much to Loki Fish for having me on. My name is Jacob F. Jones and today I'm gonna be talking about my viewpoint on cigarettes as a cigarette smoker myself. See so ya. Yeah, cigarettes, of course, are super, super common. They are the most popular form of tobacco products that you can smoke kind of thing. They're the most popular form of it, selling over 18 billion cigarettes per day worldwide, which is just absolutely, absolutely insane. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's just absolutely, absolutely crazy. The majority of cigarettes are filtered, of course, the majority of cigarettes are filtered, but they used to be unfiltered up until the 1950s. The most common type of cigarettes are, well, just normal tobacco cigarettes, but there also are menthol cigarettes, which are minty cigarettes, of course. And cigarettes have the most chemicals in them out of any other tobacco product, which is just absolutely, absolutely insane. And they are super, super dangerous. But what is my personal viewpoint on cigarettes? My personal viewpoint on cigarettes and my personal opinion as to why I smoke cigarettes is pretty simple. It's something I enjoy, but it's something I would never recommend to anybody else because it's super dangerous. Cigarettes kill you. It's a simple fact. And yeah, that's the truth to it. I enjoy cigarettes and it's just something that gets me through the day. And I really enjoy the experience of smoking. I enjoy puffing away on a cigarette kind of thing. And it's, it's just something that, I don't know, I've been smoking for over five years now and, and I, I really like it. I really like it, you know what I'm saying? So it's something I enjoy. And uh, I think that's pretty much my viewpoint, you know what I'm saying? So thank you very much for Loki Fish for having me on today. As said, my name is Jacob F. Jones and uh, yeah, Back to you, Loki Fish. Thank you very much for having me on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, word up. Shout out to Jacob for the amazing explanation on that. Be sure to check out his channel. First link in the description. Moving on to mini filtered cigars. These look very similar to cigarettes, but are slightly different in their own way. They smoke and appear nearly identical to cigarettes, but you're not supposed to inhale them. Some people use them as an alternative to cigarettes because they fall under a tax loophole in which they aren't super expensive like cigs are. If you can get a pack of cigs for $20, a pack of mini filtered cigars will probably run you three. And this is because they're technically cigars and not cigarettes. In conclusion, all these products are just a bunch of different smokable tobacco products that are out there. If you want to learn about other herbs you can smoke, here's some other videos I made about that. I'm Loki Fish, peace out.